Boeing has had to make some key investment decisions in the past few years in response to changing markets and changing competition. Firstly, in response to Airbus building a new Super Jumbo, the double-decker A380, Boeing chose not to compete with a new version of their famous 747. Boeing cited cost and a lack of demand from the world's major airlines for a new Jumbo. Boeing said the market share for Jumbo planes will shrink to 4% from 6% now and that less than 500 Super Jumbos will be demanded by the airlines up to the year 2014. Airbus puts the demand at 1,400. Boeing also expressed concerns about the logistics of flying such huge numbers on one plane. Turnaround times, airport capacities and safety were just some of the operational problems associated with these passenger loads. Instead, in 2001, Boeing unveiled an alternative project, the Sonic Cruiser a smaller plane with around 250 seats, but one that could go faster and just under the speed of sound, with the aim to reduce travel times by around 20%. The company developed technology that would allow this plane to travel further, allowing London, Sydney non-stop for the first time, higher, less turbulence, and quieter, easier on the environment. Market reaction to Boeing's new planes was acceptable. They implied that the Sonic Cruiser was Boeing's idea, rather than the airlines. Airlines tend to emphasize cost efficiency rather than speed and range. The airlines were not convinced that business passengers would pay a 15% premium on existing business fares for a higher speed. As a result, in November 2002, Boeing decided to put development of the Sonic Cruiser on hold and announced instead that they were now going to focus on a 218-seat super-efficient aircraft code named the 787 Dreamliner. Boeing has thus staked its future in civil aviation on this long-range fuel efficient mid-sized jet. As a result of new light weight material and a more aerodynamic design, the aircraft will burn 20% less fuel and will be 10% cheaper to operate overall than similar sized jets currently in service. Because more than 50% of the aircraft is made from composite materials rather than the conventional aluminium, the cabins will need to be less pressurized, which should mean less fatigue, dehydration and headaches for passengers. However, the Dreamliner will only travel at 80% of the speed of the Sonic Cruiser. Boeing puts the market for the aircraft at 3,500 over the next 20 years. Perhaps inevitably, Airbus is threatening to launch a competitor to the Dreamliner by introducing a new mid-sized twin L aircraft, the A350. This will be an adaptation of an existing model, the A330, and will be bigger and have a longer range than the Dreamliner. Boeing expects further deregulation in the industry, intensifying competition. History shows that competition leads to an increasing new non-stop market and frequency growth served by small and intermediate-sized planes rather than an increasing average airplane size in seats. Boeing also suggests that the old hub and spoke system of flying is breaking down, and instead passengers are using a greater number of airports. This approach will require more and smaller planes flying to more airports. <laughs>